talk about homework inside your coaching and hypnosis programs. Homework includes maybe you are giving your clients some hypnotic audio recordings, transformational recordings, or you're getting them to do thought journals or pretty much things that your clients have to do in terms of shifting their mindset and emotional state outside of your sessions and how important it is truly. So, you know, these are one of the things that you really want to look at as a coach. And this is definitely something that I always look at uh, within my clients and always testing the support uh, that they need and the things that they need. And I was never really the coach and hypnotist who would give clients homework, except when I did give them the transformational recordings, when I used to do a traditional uh, hypnosis modality. But other than that, I didn't really give them a lot of homeworks. Um, there were some videos that I wanted them to watch. Um, or actually, I did. I mean, let me take that back. I did uh, have some videos for my clients to watch, not as like a homework, you have to do this, but kind of like, hey, this is an FYI. Um, it's pretty much videos to help them cope on a day to day basis. Uh, because I helped clients. Um, initially, I helped entrepreneurs with money blocks, and then it got into relationship uh, healing. And so the videos that I gave them had to do with how to help themselves uh, develop better coping mechanisms and coping strategies, which I believe is completely important and good for them to have in their back pockets. But when you want to look at your programs as well, um, sometimes less is more, right? And so in with my one-to-one -one clients now, the only thing I give them is a I think it's just a five part video series. Um, and in total, it's maybe like maximum two hours that they can have um, for life, right? Not even two hours, maybe 90 minutes, like 60, 90 minutes. That's all they, they get from me when we work together one, one on one. And again, it's to help them uh, with further coping mechanisms uh, for their daily life after we work together. And so, you know, when you look at what you're giving your clients in, in terms of the homework you're doing. Part of your uh, job as a coach and a, and a hypnotist is to assess whether or not it is needed by your clients. Uh, some clients may need it, some clients may not, but you want to look and keep on um, seeing your client's feedback as to what um, what they need to, uh, what they need and what they don't need uh, so that you can take uh, things out or trim the fat within your programs, right? Sometimes we may think that more is better, giving them more homeworks, giving them more things to to do and track. Um, and sometimes uh, that, that kind of makes sense, but also sometimes that can really overwhelm clients and it might not give you the uh, result that you expected. And so how can you make things simple for your coaching clients and even your hypnosis clients? Um, is it necessary to give them the recording? Is it helping them? Are they actually listening to it? Um, and, you know, getting into that frame of mind of thinking throughout your sessions, it's really what's going to help you have faster breakthroughs because, you know, if someone is overwhelmed, even though it's things that will benefit them, if they're too overwhelmed because you're giving them too many things, then it's going to be harder for them to implement and take action. Whereas you can, you know, give your clients a time and space, just give them the bare minimum to give them the results that you promised you would deliver within your programs and then allow them, you know, if you have bonuses, then sure, give it to them. Or if they're asking for it, then give it, then give it to them. Don't just give them 20 things at the beginning because when we initially invest also, right? Like that onboarding uh, feeling gets really overwhelming, even though it's exciting. Um, but sometimes it can also backfire where you get too overwhelmed too quickly. So how can you structure your programs and your delivery process within your clients so that they don't have to do something every week? I mean, an, an example of this is one of my best friends. He um, he just hired an executive coach for himself. Um, and so he is a very busy man. And so he um, hired an executive coach and this coach has been really helpful as it's been helping him. But at the same time, he was like, yeah, so my coach um, gave me a video video to watch and I never watched it. Um, I'm sure it helps. But, you know, within the session is really what um, what he was looking for. He got whatever he needed to get out of that. 
So really objectively look at that. Don't be afraid to ask your clients for feedback as to whether or not it is working. I mean, obviously you won't know until they come into your programs as well, right? After a few people come in. But for the most part, people are time poor, right? It doesn't matter uh, what job you are. It doesn't matter if you're an entrepreneur, if you work a nine to five, people are time poor. People um, find things to do in their spare time. So if you can save your clients the time and not give them the homework and instead have your transformations within the sessions, not only are you going to, are clients going to appreciate that, the um, the consistency is better for your clients. They won't be overwhelmed. They won't be scared to get onto the calls with you because it's a very simple, it's just an easier pill to swallow and a much smoother experience for your client journey. So think about that. And if you have any questions, any thoughts, any comments, any concerns, I would love to know. Comment below. Otherwise, I will see you soon.